Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. As you could tell, I'm going to be trying on some bridesmaid dresses and wedding dresses from a store called JJ's House. This video is a part of my wedding series, which has been so much fun. You guys are loving it. I've done a few videos about this kind of thing. A few months ago, I did wedding dresses under 300 and then bridesmaids dresses under 100, I think, or 200 and you guys love them they are like still racking up the views so i figured if you guys love that kind of stuff i'm gonna do more so jj's house is an online store i've never bought anything before this video the reason that i found it was because for our wedding i'm looking for a very specific bridesmaids dress and i don't want to give too much away but like the color and the fabric of it is very particular and very different on different websites and i saw this picture on Pinterest, you know, like how you see all this inspo and then you have to like find it in real life and sometimes it's really hard. I couldn't find the dress from Pinterest and I've been looking on all these different stores and I found one at JJ's house. So I wanted to order it just to make sure it was the right color and everything and I figured, you know, if I'm going to be ordering it, I want to do a whole try on and just review for you guys in case you ever wanted to shop there. So all of these wedding dresses, I'm pretty sure are under $350 and then the bridesmaids dresses, I'm pretty sure are under $100. They also have a bunch of like prom dresses, event dresses, all that kind of stuff. It's not just bridesmaids, but I just picked some styles that I thought were really pretty and really unique for bridesmaids dresses. And let me tell you guys, this, like, picking this stuff out was so hard because just going through the website, I loaded up my cart. Like, I had so many dresses in my cart, especially bridal gowns. And I was like, okay, I need to narrow this down because I do not need all of these dresses. But it was hard because they have so many cute styles and they're all super affordable. So I'm going to review and let you know if it is worth it, if the material is good, if it's good quality, all that kind of stuff. So I haven't tried on any of these dresses. I'm going to unbox them and then try them on for you guys and talk about the sizing and all of that. I ordered all of these in a size US 6. I'm normally a US 6 or a US 4 and I had a really hard time picking what size to do because I just really didn't know. So I looked on their size chart and went with the 6. So we'll see if that works. Fingers crossed. I'll start with the bridesmaids dresses and then we'll move into the wedding gown. So first is this taupe one. It's inside out, which is interesting. <laughs> okay, just looking at the dress, it looks like it might be a little bit big, which is kind of disappointing, but I'm not going like, to let my hopes go down until I try it on. But this one is an off-the-shoulder dress. I thought that this was so beautiful on the website. It has like a belt right in the middle that cinches the waist and then this fabric across the top and it looks really beautiful. The quality, just from feeling it, it feels like any other bridesmaids dress that I've gotten. So really nice, durable, you know, good material. So I'll go try it on. Okay, you guys, first dress and I am very, very impressed. It is so beautiful. It has this kind of like knotted texture right here and then it goes down into the belt and just flows down into the rest of the dress. This material is so loose and flowy it gives it almost like a whimsical kind of like fairy looking vibe. It has a little skirt underneath you could see it right there um, and then a slit. Where is it? There it is. A nice modestly high slit. And then the back is a little bit longer, so it almost has a little tiny bit of a train, which is very pretty. And the color is perfect. It is like the perfect taupe color, if that's what you're going for. The only critique I have is that there's a little extra fabric right here. Like when I stand up straight, it looks good. Maybe I just need to work on my posture. But when I stand up straight, it's good. But if I like bend over, it kind of like hangs over like that. So I would, if I was to wear this, I might have it like taken in just a little bit. This also might be because my torso so is a little short so if you have a longer torso that might be good for you but also if you had a little more in this region it might just fill it up too but for me I might have to take it in a little bit and the length on it again is perfect with my heels if I didn't have heels on I would have to get it um hemmed which is no big deal but it is so beautiful this dress comes in a bunch of different colors too I'll try and show you guys what colors it comes with on the screen but it is so pretty Okay, so this next dress is, it looks a little different than what I ordered online because I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be silk. Yeah, this was 
Unless it's an inside out. Oh, it's inside out. I was like, this doesn't look like silk. Okay, one sec. Okay, it seems like all the dresses are coming inside out, which is a little strange, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Okay, yeah, this is beautiful. This is like, it's it's not really silk. It's It doesn't feel like silk. It's really thick. You know how silk is pretty thin and like flowy? This is a little thick and a little bit stiffer, but it looks like silk. Like it's shiny. It has that reflective quality and it looks really pretty, really nice quality. It's kind of heavy, so super thick material. I love the look of this dress. I love the A-line. I just think it's so beautiful. This could be like an event ball gown too. I mean, honestly. But it's just kind of like the flowy pleated at the top. So I'm going to go try this one on. Okay, you guys. I am blown away by this dress. It is so beautiful. So flattering. Oh my gosh. I love the champagne color. It's a little bit like, a little bit lighter than I thought that it would be. But I think if you're going for the champagne look, it is just beautiful. I love the belt around the waist. I think it's very flattering. And then the pleats on these, um, the pleats underneath into the skirt, it just makes it flow really nicely. It's the perfect length for reference. I'm 5'5", five five, but I have like three and a half, four inch heels on. So without the heels, it's definitely too long. If you're doing flats, you would have to get it hemmed. But with the heels, it's fine. The straps are adjustable too. So I just tighten them up a little bit. I would probably want to do like sticky tape here just to make sure that, you know, when you bend over, it's not like, hello, but it is so pretty. I mean, I'm a big fan of like the satin silk look. So if you guys are a big fan of it too, you will love this style dress. I'm seriously blown away. It's beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. This is what the back looks like as well. It's just like a zipper situation. So nothing fancy on the back, just like super simple, elegant, classy, beyond beautiful in my opinion. I love it. Okay, next one. I was really excited about this one. It is velvet. Velvet, which is so pretty. I think that weddings that have velvet dresses are just like so beautiful. Okay, yeah, wow. Okay, so this is the velvet one. The color is so pretty. I got gold and I was a little afraid that gold would turn out orange because I feel like a lot of websites say that the dress is gold and then it comes just in this yellow mustardy color, which is not pretty, but this is like actual gold. It might be coming up a little bit more yellow on the camera, I'm not sure, but in person, it's like the perfect gold color. And it's the same kind of crisscross texture as the first one with the off the shoulder sleeves Then the belt in the middle to kind of cinch at your waist and then it's flowy and it has a slit So I'm gonna try this one on. I'm very excited about it. So this is what the velvet one looks like on I'm also very very impressed with it. It is this is the gold color So the first one was champagne the silk one and this one's gold So I think it just looks so pretty on it fits perfectly. It is a little loose in the top top right here so I'm gonna have to get that taken in because I'm definitely gonna wear this um I might even wear it to a wedding you know just as a guest because it's so beautiful but it has this like wrap look in the front and then it slips it is a little bit big on the top so I'm gonna have to get that taken in because I definitely want to wear this I think I might wear it to a wedding I have coming up actually I think it'd be really pretty as a guest just to rock this but it is just so pretty I love the velvet look like if you are doing velvet for your wedding look into this dress because very very beautiful and it also has a slit which is nice and the sleeves on this one are also a little bit stretchy too so you don't feel like you're like a robot you know you feel like you can move around and stuff like that so very very pretty and very impressed with it I like it a lot okay so this next dress I actually found this one in the prom section of the website and so it's really extra it has these like really pretty sequins at the top and then it has this like frilled twill material I think that's what it's called well, not really sure, but it like poofs out at the bottom and I wanted to pick like more unique bridesmaids dresses for this video because in my last one I picked like super classic looks which JJ has all of those classic looks But I figured that I would show you the more fun ones in this video So hence why I went with this one I saw this one on their Instagram and I was like wow that dress is beautiful It comes in a bunch of different colors too, but 
I think it's very, very pretty, very extra, and the quality is really good. I'm very impressed with all these sequins sewn in. Like, it's really nice, especially for the price, and the sleeves are, like, well-made and everything, too, so I'm excited to try this one on. Okay, here is the fun one, you guys. It's so cute, very, very unique, very fun. The sparkles look really good on. It has the padding underneath, so it just looks really pretty, kind of blends in with your skin a little bit. And then the back is like nice and open like that, which I think is so cute. I love a dress with an open back. Um, the length is good. It has the slit underneath the um, fabric, so you like can kind of pop through. This dress is a little big though. I do have to say I would definitely go with a size four instead of a six. So if you guys are in between sizes, definitely recommend going with your smaller size. But other than that, it is so, so cute and fun and unique. And they have it in a few different colors. Okay, and now moving into the wedding dresses. I have three wedding dresses to show you guys. Okay, so this dress is a very classic A-line, just super minimal, pretty dress. It has lace and sparkle towards the top, and then it flows into the bottom of the dress, and then the dress has a little bit of that. I don't know if it's twill. I might be totally butchering it, but this material, you guys know what I'm talking about, and then it has like a silky material underneath, and I think it's really pretty. I love the thin straps. Thin straps are like my go-to for all wedding dress styles, and it has little built-in cups so I think the waist of it is a little bit more see-through but then it has the cups built in so I think it's very boho very pretty um, I saw this one on their website with the picture and the model made it look so good so I'm gonna see if it looks as good as me probably won't but we'll try okay so the first wedding dress this is what it looks like on I feel like it's the perfect amount of poof not too much but it doesn't like just lay flat you know what I'm saying and the quality Quality of it is really nice putting it on it feels really good nice and sturdy this is what the top looks like the detailing on it is very elegant it's not like an old-fashioned lace sometimes with lace you can you know feel like you look like an old lady but I think that this looks really pretty the only thing I have to say is that the cups underneath you can kind of tell that they are just like sewn in like bra cups you know what I'm saying if I were to actually wear this on my wedding day I think I would have a seamstress sew in white here and maybe like have it go into the middle part. I, I don't know because I feel like the middle part's pretty being see-through. I think if they just connected the cups and made it look less like a round cup but more like a, a fabric that flows down, I think that that would look a lot better and that probably wouldn't be very costly at all but that's the only thing I have to say about it. Or you could just switch these out for nude cups. It would just be nude on the top altogether but other than that, I think it's really, really pretty. I do think I could have gotten a four. It just feels a little bit loose and I mean on weddings you want it to be tight you want to look thin you know so I would go with your smaller size if you are in between sizes because there's a little bit of room in this one but I really really think that it's beautiful oh wow this one's a fluffy one let me put it inside out this little inside out thing is a little a little unfortunate okay wow this dress is very poofy <laughs> Honestly though, I love a good poof dress. Okay, so this dress is a lot more whimsical, kind of like fairy looking. It's all lace so there's no sparkle or anything and it has these straps that are going to fall on your like sh shoulder right here. So it's like off the shoulder type look, but they're not like fitted. They're just flowing down if that makes sense. But it has the A-line, very pretty like simple but elegant kind of thing and the lace also extends down to the bottom of the dress so I'll show you guys what this looks like on it'll be much better to explain it when I'm wearing it okay this is the second wedding dress I was a little concerned when I was holding it that it might be too poofy now having it on I don't think that it is too poofy I think it's the perfect amount of poof if that's the look that you're going for you know I wouldn't I probably wouldn't do more than this but I think it's really beautiful it has like a little bit of a train going on see that in the back and the lace is very elegant looking it's just super pretty it's kind of shiny and I love how it flows into the dress and then the sleeves just like fall onto your arms so if you are worried about like dancing throwing your arms up that sort of thing I wouldn't worry about these sleeves because you do have a lot of movement with them and then the dress also comes with clear straps that you can hook on right here so you can tuck the sleeves in and put on some clear straps if you want 
want to have like the strapless look for dancing and stuff like that. And I also think that this dress is really pretty here because it's very sturdy. Like it is not flimsy at all and it really like pushes everything up, you know? It's very flattering right here. It's kind of like the corset feel which is very, very flattering. So I think it's really beautiful. And I also love the lace on the bottom of the dress. It goes all the way around into the back, into the train. It goes all the way into the train too which is really, really beautiful. I really like it. Okay, wow, this dress, I'm very impressed with the details. This is the last dress that I have to show you guys. Um, it has these sparkly straps, so the straps are beaded and then the straps connect in the back, so it has like a pretty little crisscross thing. I'll show you when it's on, but it has the lace with a little bit of sequins like sewn into it, so it's not sparkly, it just has a little bit of like shimmer in the lace. And then it flows out. The bottom of the skirt is a little bit more pink than I anticipated. I ordered it in just the picture color. So that's one cool thing about the website I forgot to mention earlier. They have the picture of the dress and then you could pick different colors or you could just pick the picture color. Like, and it just says picture. So if you're like, that's the exact one I want, then you just click that. So that's what I did with this. Um, it is like a little bit more pink. I forget what it looked like on the website. But I mean, if you're going for the pink wedding look, I feel like this could be really pretty but they also have it in other colors like white ivory you know all the classic like wedding dress colors so I'll go try this one on okay you guys this is by far my favorite of the three wedding dresses it is so beautiful it is the perfect poof it has this beautiful detailing it has the most detail of all the dresses too and then it has this train in the back not too long but like a nice couple feet of train. Let me show you the detail. The lace is really pretty, like big, wide, lacy pieces, and it flows all the way down through the dress, all the way to the bottom, and then it has those little sequins kind of sewn in to just give it a little bit of sparkle, and it has the cups underneath, but in this dress, the cups are less visible, if that makes sense, if you guys know what I'm saying. Like, it just looks like white instead of just actual cups. <laughs> so I really, really like that, and it also has the see-through part right here, and look at the back the back is the best part try and move my hair okay so it has these straps that connect in the back and the straps are all beaded and then it also has these buttons right here so the zipper stops right here and then it has these cute little buttons right there it's the perfect low back kind of look and just enough sparkle in the straps and just enough detailing it is so beautiful I cannot believe that this dress is the price that it is honestly you guys I am blown away personally I think I would probably go with the ivory color for the undertone just because the blush isn't really my vibe but if you guys like the blush then more power to you sorry this the train is underneath but oh god I'm stepping on it oh dear okay but you guys know what I'm saying it is so beautiful also I love how it has this little fabric patch right here so that it's not too much cleavage you know like if it would have gone down all the way it might be a little much but it just looks so pretty this dress just does not cut any corners honestly I am very very impressed with this dress I think it's so beautiful I would wear this to my own wedding not even joking okay so that is all the dresses overall I have to say I'm very impressed with the price point of these dresses um the quality is really really nice with both the bridesmaids and the wedding dresses like if you are doing your wedding on a budget honestly there is no need to spend a bajillion dollars on a wedding dress when you could just buy one from a more affordable website and just like do your hair makeup you have the flowers like no one will be able to tell that your dress is under $300 I promise you that and the beauty of those kinds of websites is that you can order a couple and then try them on and see if you like them um, and I could just return them if you don't. So overall, I have to say JJ's house gets an A plus rating from me, at least from these ones that I tried on. So all of the dresses will be linked in the description if you guys would like to shop them. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your girlfriends who are looking for wedding stuff, if they're planning their wedding or planning an elopement because COVID, you know, super fun. But um, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. I have new videos every week. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.